In contemporary high life music in Ghana, there is no way we can write the story without the name of one guy who is not a white person but has decided to call himself Half Co. And today, on the Real Talk on Sammy Flex TV, we're going to have an extensive chat, high life music. How far and where are we going with it? People are talking about Afro music being a Nigerian thing and the fact that Ghana also owns the high life business. But then you ask yourself, what is the future? What are the challenges of the Ghanaian high life artist that have course seems to have all the answers? That is what we're going to do here on the Real Talk. Production is surely being done by the man who is called Digital Rust aka currency that have course just came back from London so I'm sure we start talking about some London business uh, some people are even talking about this and that but then he will share all that with us have course welcome from London Sorry. and uh, how was business how are were deals how were deals in London and all that thank you thank you for having me I mm -hmm. think, um, London was good you know, mm -hmm. it, was, it was okay yes normal we went for the Ghana Music Awards UK big up to Alodia and the whole team Everybody who came to Grace location. Mm -hmm. So we went for that. After that, we decided to, you know, spend some holidays. Big mm -hmm. up to my, my, my homies, Reggie CP and his family, his mm -hmm. wife, his mm -hmm. kids. And big up to Bully as well, mm -hmm. you know, for them hosting me and everything. So UK was okay. Mm -hmm. You know, we're just back to business. And I see. I know you were there as a nominee, mm -hmm. um, obviously in a high life category. Mm -hmm. So some of us were expecting you to even have won. Mm -hmm. uh, what were your chances and how come? <laughs> yeah, Hafco was never mentioned as the high life artist of the year, Ghana Music Awards UK 2019. I, I think that um, when it comes to award ceremonies, most of these award events, you know, houses or companies, mm -hmm. they mostly use the Chatterhouse template okay. for the awards. Mm. So it's like wh whoever wins on the at the VGMA mm -hmm. is likely to win on all the other. Well, wh what, what do you mean by the Chatterhouse template? Um, I mean because say, it's like Chatterhouse are the should I say the the old ladies mm -hmm. of this whole award scheme. Mm -hmm. So they they started first. Okay. So whatever Chatterhouse do, mm -hmm. most of the event houses or the award houses mm -hmm. are likely to copy to, to copy or emulate the same thing mm -hmm. because if Shutter House nominates a particular song and artist mm -hmm. for a particular category, category. Mm -hmm. all the others are going to do the same mm -hmm. you know so I wasn't surprised I think Kwame Eugene won I but, but, but don't surprised. you think it is also ideal because um, it will mean these people worked hard in the year under review and if only your calendar also falls within the same calendar then it means you are going to have a repetition of no, Some I, names I, I, and I think, I think that, you know, when VGMA does it, mm -hmm. a lot of criticism comes to play. Okay. So I always wish all the other event houses would you change know, it. Would take a cue from what happens at the VGMA to correct all mm. the wrongs. Mm. But they don't. Okay. They, they seem to also follow suit and, and just do it. So for me, I mean, getting nominated was a, was a plus for me. Mm -hmm. I think looking at where we are coming from and looking mm -hmm. at how far. Mm -hmm. We've come, so mm -hmm. it was just okay for me. Mm -hmm. uh, congratulations to the winners. Mm -hmm. I all I, I keep on saying is that I know I can do it. Mm. I'm the the only person who can believe in myself. I know I can do it. So the only thing that I need to do mm -hmm. is to keep working hard. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's all I do: work hard to make sure that the next one that comes, I'm crowned the winner. I see. Now we were following him on social media. I'm talking about Sammy Flex TV. Everything he did whilst he was there, the fun, the business and all that, we saw them. So let's ask him. We saw him in a studio with a Tumpan, um, Reggie Zippy, Bolly, um, Flo Kingstone, and a couple of artists. Are we to expect some collaborations from you and them? Yeah, I mean, um, I think the first song that we recorded was, it was a Reggie and Bolly song that okay. featured all of us. Okay. It featured me, a Tumpan, Ephraim and Flo Kingston, mm -hmm. you know. Then I'm also doing a song with them, with Reggie and Bowley. I said that I have got featuring them. Reggie and Bowley. So, mm -hmm. you know, those were the things that we tried working on. Mm -hmm. but Should we, we expect these songs before the year closes? No, I think it will go to next year because from from now to the year, the closing of the year is going to be about our story. Okay. My new song with you, You're not going to release any new song mm, apart no. from our story? No, our story is fresh. Our story is just like three weeks old, mm. you know, so mm. I need to concentrate on the promotion and make sure it stays grounded before 
I'm bringing in my next one. Okay, so still in London, um, you're a musician. Obviously, mm. your weeks, the weeks you spent there, you did some music business. Let's do a little bit of comparison, though I know they are more developed, far advanced than we are. But in the business world, what did you learn? The London music business, the Ghana music business? I mean, <clears throat> if, if you say comparison, there's nothing to compare. Mm. Because no, even if it is still bad, we can still yeah, compare. Yeah, we, we don't have an industry, so there's nothing to even compare. Because if you look at what they have, mm -hmm. the things they do, mm -hmm. how they, they plug their music, mm -hmm. both on the radio and on TV, mm -hmm. you realize that we, we're a joke. We're a bunch of, like, we're joking mm -hmm. right here. Simply because, for example, if that I have could release a song in the UK, I'm going to look for radio and TV pluggers for them to to pay them for them to plug my song on the radio okay. and on TV. Mm. Now, immediately, they plug it. Mm -hmm. Every play per second is going to bring me money, okay. depending on which radio station is playing it. Mm. So if Capital Extra is playing it for 30 seconds, I'm going to get maybe some 16 to 20 pound. Mm -hmm. If BBC Radio 1 is playing, I'm going to get between 19 pound to 26 pound. Mm -hmm. That is per 30 seconds. Okay. So if my song is four minutes and they play all the four minutes, your time, you're going to times maybe 20 by 4. Mm -hmm. And that is going to be like 80 pounds. Mm -hmm. That is per play, one play. Okay. So, and on one station. So, in a day, Krano, if you get slaughtered in about five, six, seven times, and that, is, some that good is money. like some good money. Mm -hmm. Before the song becomes popular and then you get, you know, shows also to play. Mm -hmm. So, it's a double thing. But in Ghana, when they play your song on radio, you, you don't get paid. Mm -hmm. Your song needs to become popular then you hope. Um, you, you are making it seem like it is zero, but we know Gamro is also paying some artists. So, I mean, so what do you mean by you don't get paid? No, the whole point is, if, if Gamro gives me 200 Ghana in six months, mm -hmm. what is the breakdown? First off, what is the breakdown? Mm -hmm. Because in London, like the things that Regidems, they showed me, mm -hmm. if they play your song and they, they bring the sheet, you know that on this particular day, the song was played for a minute and 20 seconds on this radio station. And mm -hmm. that amounts to this m money. Mm -hmm. So you could easily look through and calculate and make sure everything tallies. Mm -hmm. But here, if they play my song on, <clears throat> for example, for example, when I did Ye Beun Tiena last year, mm -hmm. you were witness, you know how popular the song was. Sure. Ye Beun Tiena enjoyed serious radio play mm -hmm. from Accra to Paga. And I could tell you, if it was played for one million times across Ghana, Mm -hmm. Imagine if I was being paid 50 pesos per play, mm -hmm. how much money would I have made? That is a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So if in six months, Gamro gives me 200 Ghana, mm -hmm. that this is my money for collection. Is, is that what you got in reality? No, I think in reality, I got about, uh, is it about 300 Ghana. <laughs> for six months? Yes. And, and you, yes, and you ask yourself, if in the entire six months, I'm giving this amount of money. What is the breakdown? What are they using to check? Mm. To know that, okay, that of course song was played here and here and here and there, and so he deserves 300 Ghana. That is like a joke. Mm. You understand? I have been on a, on a WhatsApp High Life platform where a legendary artist mm -hmm. has come there, like ranting, mm -hmm. that he just received 150 Ghana from Gamro for all the... Period of six months. Yes, for all the work he's done. The albums and he comes to Ghana and he hears his song being played on radio because you know that's there are certain classic songs they need not to be current before they enjoy airplay mm. like I said this morning on radio mm -hmm. the KK Fusus that's a great German that much they have this mid-tempo song that are being played every afternoon on radio mm -hmm. so these people needs to be you know they need to be getting their money mm. but they don't like I said if Apietus he's played 400 mega hits in Ghana Mm -hmm. Today, when they play a beautiful song, what happens? He gains nothing. Mm -hmm. But out there, when you produce a song, the moment the song gets played, even if the song is 20 years, once it gets played, you get some money into your account. I see. So the comparison there, I mean, there's is, nothing like there's that. There's nothing like, you know, it's hard. So what does it mean? Can that have course still live in Ghana and maybe um, do his promotion, his releases, some plugins in London as well? Well, what I am trying to, you know, juggle between is I feel that 
we all can't also live here and go and stay in London. Mm -hmm. So I want to be part of the revolution. Okay. So we need to go there, mm -hmm. get the knowledge, mm -hmm. and bring to our people. Mm -hmm. to let them know that we're going to learn X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. So we are coming for us to use it to revamp the industry. Okay. So for me, it's not about going there to do the plugging and everything. We, it needs to happen here. Okay. But that is what happens all over the world. Mm. All over the world, music business, the laws are one. Mm -hmm. We don't have laws governing music in America. We don't have laws governing music in the UK. Mm -hmm. They are all one. Mm. <clears throat> so we need to also be able to plug into theirs. Mm. You know, this morning I was reading an article that I chanced upon when I was coming on radio. There's this song by Fella. That mm -hmm. song title is Gentleman. Mm -hmm. And it has this flute in there. And J. Cole did a song for, J. Cole, hip hop artist J. Cole did a song for Nas. And he actually took that flute. That song is about five years old. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know the flute was from Fella. Okay. I chanced on somebody tweeted something. So I, I, I decided to do my research. Mm -hmm. You know what, what J. Cole did? He did not contact Fella and his people. But what he did was, he listed Fella as co-songwriter mm. on the song. So in the royalty world, Fella will get some royalty for that. Oh, That's how the business is done. Mm. Remember when um, Rocky Dawuni used Alaji K. Frim mm -hmm, mm -hmm, song and mm -hmm, then Kaboom album, went yeah. ranting and he, he said something. He said he needed not to come and seek permission because he's already plugged the old man's name in the royalty system. So, so he, the he, money is indirectly coming to them. Exactly. So he just needs to let them know that, okay, I have done X, Y, and Z. This is the account. Mm -hmm. So you guys should check it out. Mm. That is how it works. I see. Yeah. So with all these experiences you've, you gathered whilst you were in um, London, what does it mean to the Ghanaian artist that there is no future in our music business in Ghana? Is that what you mean? I think that there is, there is a, a huge fee because the Ghanaian has always found a way to make things work. For example, we don't produce cars, but when you bring your car and it has a problem, we have a way of solving Sorry. it. We've never been to a car manufacturing school before, mm -hmm. but we do it. You mm -hmm. understand? So it tells you that the Ghanaian mm -hmm. has so much talent, mm -hmm. if he gets a little push, we can do so many things. Mm -hmm. So imagine if this industry could be fixed a little bit with all the hardship that we, we go through, but we still manage to pull off sell records we managed to pull off to make hits and all so it means that if we get a little push we can make it so right now most or all Ghanaian artists should make it a point to look for education <clears throat> about the music business mm. you know Ghanaian so artists need to get education, education about the music business mm -hmm. just like somebody told me a funny story about Jacob and Esau that when Jacob stole all the blessings from Esau the only thing the father told him was that if you can work hard, you can overtake your brother. Mm. And from the description the Bible gave, Esau was the white boy. Mm -hmm. And you know what he did? He realized his brother has all the, all the blessings. So mm -hmm. the only thing he went looking for was knowledge. Mm. Mm. He went to seek knowledge mm -hmm. and came to overtake his brother. Mm. What did he do? He brought a mirror mm -hmm. to Africa. Mm -hmm. And came to see all the chiefs sitting on gold. They look at your face and give me the seat you are sitting on. And today, what, what, what's happening? They, they've turned it around. You understand? So knowledge is everything. I believe that if we if we are able to look for the knowledge and you know learn certain things ourselves, now it will become a norm for us not to accept certain things again. Mm. For example, the actions of Gamro. If you ask Gamro, why are we giving such an such and such amount. What's the break that they tell you is scientific? Mm -hmm. What is scientific about it? If my song is played one, two, three, you should be able to tell me. You understand? So let's look for another so that we can stand mm. against all this stuff. Mm. And I believe when we stand, when the people rises up, mm -hmm. everything pushes back to normal. Okay. You know, because everybody gets get like, oh, I'm mm. you know, so for me, Ghanaian artists, let's look for the knowledge and try to get things right because the system we are in is so porous, is so corrupt, mm -hmm. and it's become normal for us. 
Mm-hmm. You know, because everybody thinks that oh, yeah, 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 we so no idea, so challenge. Yeah, it like yeah, make it. No, we can make, we can effect a change, okay. and that is what we should be looking at. All right, his name is Dada Hafko, high life artist who is based here in Ghana, and my name is Sammy Flex on the Real Talk. Now let's come back to the identification of our high life music in Ghana. I believe there has been this debate of whether our Nigerian brothers are also doing high life or they are doing what we call Afro beat and all that. What has been the identity with High Life uh, that I've got? Because I know, even with our uh, foremost award schemes in Ghana, when it comes to which song is High Life, which song is Afro, we are still confused. Now that you are one of the faces leading High Life music in Ghana, how would you help us when it comes to how Ghana can identify the brand music called High Life for the international world? Okay, I think that is... A huge <laughs> topic because we have been fighting on this I for know. Like two years now. I know. Even last week Sunday. And the and trusted me. people are still struggling to find yeah, answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's simple. Because, you see, we have allowed nepotism to, to cloud our sense of judgment. Mm-hmm. For example, if Sami is my friend and I want to push Sami to this area, I know Sami may not fit in that area. Mm-hmm. But because he's my guy and I believe once I push him there, he will thrive there. Mm-hmm. I will do my possible best to push him there. Mm-hmm. That has been our bane. Because mm-hmm. the people at the top have always had personal relationship with certain labels or certain artists. Mm-hmm. So they look for the weak, weak ends. Because mm-hmm. for me, I know or I feel a lot of artists are being pushed into the high life arena because they know that place is weak. Okay. Because when you go to the Afrobeats world, mm-hmm. all the boys are doing Afrobeats. So you can't stand tall out there but high life no more thing mm-hmm. so let's push us messy there let mm-hmm. go and you know let him be there and stand alone there and then we can to the point of going to crown people as mm-hmm. high, high life kings because you understand because they feel it's an agenda to 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 make the public believe that this guy is is, is the guy mm-hmm. you understand which is very wrong if we need to do things properly we need to do them properly and make sure that everybody gets their due. Mm. You understand? Rather than just focusing on nepotism and pushing people where they don't, they, they don't, they don't belong. Because yes. mm. a lot of people might say that, oh, this guy, when he told me, I don't hate anybody. I, I admire talent mm. and I love people who are talented. You understand? But the point is, if we are to look at the bigger picture, we need to do things right. Mm. The identification of our music has become a problem. Mm-hmm. When you play reggae music, Everybody knows where it's coming from. Mm-hmm. When you play hip hop music, everybody knows where it's coming from. Mm-hmm. When you hear francophone music, mm-hmm. nobody will come and tell you that this is French for them. Mm-hmm. Even in Ghana here, when you record a song and you play a certain type of francophone guitar, whoever hears it will go like, "Oh, where they all call a francophone power? Mm-hmm. Why is the mm-hmm. person saying that?" Because of the guitar. The person is there. hearing a certain element that he thinks makes a francophone. Mm. So why are we not looking for elements that could give ours an identification? Mm -hmm. So that if somebody lives in Vanuatu or Papua New Guinea, Mm -hmm. and the person hears that element, the person will say that, oh, this one I know is coming from Ghana. Mm. Recently, when Prince Charles was coming to Ghana, I actually have a video of Prince Charles, the son son of the British Queen, Mm -hmm. who was saying in the video that, oh, Ghana, I can't wait to come and enjoy your high life music. Mm. Because the last time I came to Ghana with my mother, mm-hmm. I listened to a lot of high life music and I loved it. Wow. Yes, I have the video. I could get it he for you. He said that in an interview. Yes, he said that in an interview. Okay. I could get it for you. And it's, it's strike like, I, I go I go like, wow. So this is where our identity used to be. Mm-hmm. And we've saturated it. Uh, so we end up, everything Ghanaian, when it comes out, we end up killing it. Anything that is Ghanaian, when JQ was playing a certain type of song, people started Jama O, Jama O, killed it. Azun took him, killed it. Al Qaeda, we killed Like everything that is Ghanaian, we try to kill it. Why? Everything. Bibi Aye Ghana ni na inventive and we try to kill it. And we are trying to kill high life. Mm. So, do you think it is the fact that we don't have that sense of pride in saying we are high life artists? No, we, we, we are copycats who always want to be floating around instead of focusing on one thing 
for it to grow. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we hate to focus on one thing for it to grow. So we copycats, we just float and float and float. Because, mind you, today, we are, we are sitting here talking about high life music because I am, I am proud to be called one. Mm -hmm. You are proud to listen to one. Mm -hmm. But a few years ago, people were shy to call themselves high life musicians. Why? Because when you say it, people will laugh at you. People will laugh at you yes, for being what? That is colo mm. like oh the colloquial mentality now. Nah. Mm. You understand? Mm. But this mm. is our pride. It mm -hmm. is only in recent times that Ghanaians feel pride to wear mm -hmm. kinte mm -hmm. to, to traditional festivities. Before everybody was wearing suit. You understand? So we need to be proud of our own thing. Mm. You no, know, because the only reason why we can get some attention in the foreign market mm -hmm. is when we become authentic and Ghanaian. I, I say that Kofi Kinata is thriving in his music because he's original. Mm. If he changes his dialect to do anything else, in fact. I see. So let me put you on the spot. Um, can we pinpoint some people who you can say are doing authentic high life music still in our industry? Yes, yes. I mean, for for you you can you can bring in certain people and say sometimes they do. Mm -hmm. They don't do it always. All the time. Yes. Sometimes Not all their songs are uh, authentic highlight yes, songs. But sometimes they do. Mm. Achami Kwame recently has a song be with a free. The one with Kiri. I made in Ghana. Mm -hmm. High life song. Mm -hmm. I do high life song. Mm -hmm. Kumi Guitar does high life song. Mm -hmm. Park Wesi does high life music. Mm -hmm. um, even Obrafo. Mm -hmm. In recent times, most of his songs are high life music. Okay. Kofi Kinata, most of his songs are high life music. Mm. You understand? So, you, even Sakode. Mm -hmm. Sakode has albums that yeah. you can get the some, album. yes, some high life songs on it. Mm. So, be, because we all grew let, up... Let, let me still be a little controversial, um, admitting that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we saw the inclusion of Kidi, Kwame, Eugene and Co. in the high life categories. Mm -hmm. uh, but you did not mention their names. Meanwhile, they are people that you can even close your eyes and handpick them. Yeah, what I, do you think about them I, and I feel, High Life Brand? Too? I feel they are incredible artists, very, very talented. But as to whether they do High Life, I don't think so. Mm. I don't think so. I think they are Afro-pop artists. Mm -hmm. I think it is the VGMA that made them believe they are yeah, High Life yeah. artists. Because mm. before they came into the industry, they were not seeing themselves as High Life artists. Mm. It is the categorization on that table, mm -hmm. on that board, that made them start to like started believing mm -hmm. that they're doing high life but i don't think what they do is, is high life music i mean yes it, i could be wrong i, I could be it, it could sound ambiguous mm -hmm. but i feel me and you we grew up listening to high life music. Mm -hmm. and so it's a lot of Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. so whenever one hears a high life song mm -hmm. they know what it is I see. people have said that high life has evolved which i agree but if you listen to yebe mm -hmm. it is not a 1970s song mm -hmm. it's a 20 18 song. Mm -hmm. Once you hear it, you know it's a high life song. Mm -hmm. My new song, Our Story. Mm -hmm. When you hear it, nobody tells you this is not. Nobody will tell. Will say this is a hip hop song. Because mm -hmm. music. They will not do any debate on no, that. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. If music evolves, it does not. Need fufu does not evolve to become the yawo yimo. If anything, we do You understand? Because there's, it will still give you different taste. Okay. You know, for me, I feel that if we have a new crop of artists who are doing a certain type of music mm -hmm. let's find a name for it mm -hmm. just like jamaicans found a name from for dance hall music mm -hmm. they could have easily considered all as reggae, reggae yeah. why didn't they mm -hmm. because they realized that this is you know what is selling the country out there mm -hmm. so let us not saturate it okay. let's find a name in between the two okay you know. so you know the story he is still here that i have called he has a new song called uh, story i'll be talking to him about it but then um let's do this business before we move into that um have called, there is also this perception that if you are in Ghana's music industry and you want some quick rise to fame, you want some quick rise to maybe money, and you are going to do this authentic high life, authentic high But the point is, Sami, music is supposed to entertain, educate, and inform. Mm. If, we, if we want to make good music, this is good music. That is what I'm doing. So why would anybody say But that? no one is doubting um, what you are doing. No one is doubting that it is good. Mm -hmm. Not at all. But yes. like I'm saying, mm -hmm. they are talking about that thing which will give you that instant attention. That's what I'm saying that mm -hmm. if good music is not giving me instant attention, mm -hmm. what should give me? The chan chan. Mm -hmm. That is what I should focus on. Yeah, maybe one corner or something. No. I mean, you see, 
the, you see, this is the, the, the problem. We, we are making music to leave a certain legacy mm -hmm. for the upcoming generation. Mm. Just like the Nanam Pedus did. Mm -hmm. Just like Amache did. did. Mm -hmm. I mean, can you imagine yourself being an artist who has reigned and become so popular, but your song can't be played after 10 years? Mm -hmm. Today, when they play an Amache Dede jam, um, this song, um, mm. it's over 15 years. But you see the impact when it's played today. Look at the, the sound and mm. everything. Mm. So good music is what, you see, it is, the, the, the problem with us is our system. Mm -hmm. Our structuring is so wrong that when you make good music, you don't get paid for. And okay. it makes people believe that, oh, and they are koye didi didi That is what people will gravitate towards. Mm. It's wrong. Good music, we need to be making music that will turn lives around. Like our story. God mm -hmm. will change your story. Mm -hmm. Like Kofi Kinata's song. Like songs that have content that you could actually sit down. Because back in the day, when somebody gets sad, there's a particular song that you play. Mm -hmm. Immediately, you hear a song, Kose, 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 Azama. Then you know we are, we are at a funeral ground. Mm -hmm. You understand? So you need to make a song that fits occasions. Mm -hmm. Our generation have gone beyond that. And we just do it for doing sake. Mm. But we need to focus on making good music. That's why we need to have a system and structures that would make good songs mm. get more airplay or make good songs relevant out there mm. for the people to subscribe to it. Mm. Rather than saying that, oh, obey you now be hit there, go and do get some noisy music. That is not the way to go. Mm. You know, if we want to bring out good and you know talented artists, that's what we have to do. And look at the Nigerians. Are they doing the noise? Mm -hmm. No, they always have content in their music. Mm -hmm. They always, you listen to 10 Nigerian artists and mm -hmm. tell me who does not have a content. Mm -hmm. They always have content in their music. And content sells music because whoever is listening to it, if the person does not even understand, the person goes by the melody lines, could just depict or see the video and feel like, oh, this is the storyline about the song. Okay. So for me, I think that those of us, like I said, we, we are part of the revolution. We want to revolutionize the highlight, whole highlight, highlight the whole system mm. to make people gravitate towards good music. So I, I, I wouldn't leave good music to come and just do the noise and say that because, yeah, because I want to get a quick attention. No, today, 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 the industry is paying attention to good music. Mm. Listen to um, Famia's Nothing I Get. Yeah. Uh, uh, these days, as, as a matter of fact, these recent times, if you make a song, if you do a song that does not have content, people don't pay attention to you. Mm. I was I was talking to Killer Fingers a few hours ago, mm -hmm. and he was say, he was saying the same thing to me that you know what now people don't even pay too much attention to beats, but to lyrics. That is why when you rap, somebody will bring some of your non far line mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. Twitter mm -hmm. to come mm -hmm. and you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and do all your that stuff. Yes, and assessment and all because people are not paying attention to lyricism. And that is what music is supposed to be about. All right. At this stage, I know you're asking yourself, who is this guy? Who, uh, where does he even have his songs? It is simple. His name is Dada Hafko. Just go online, YouTube. He has a lot of videos there. And again, he is streaming some of his songs. Let's listen to um, the story of the new one. Um, the details about it, where we can get it. What is it about and all that. Some features and all that. Uh, Hafko, so the new one is called Our, our Story. story yeah. What inspired our story? Um, our story is a song that uplifts, mm -hmm. motivates, and inspires. I mean, I am from the, the angle where I think there's so much problem in this world for human beings. Okay. And people need to always get people to uplift them up, mm -hmm. either through music or through motivational speeches and things like that. Mm -hmm. So most of my songs aims at motivating people. Okay. So our story is a song that talks about God will change our story mm -hmm. from bad to good. Mm -hmm. You know, God will change our story from, you know, being underground to mainstream, from messengers to CEOs, mm -hmm. you know, selling in traffic to the office, mm -hmm. just to let people have hope mm -hmm. that even you can be down today, but there will be hope tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So that is what actually inspired the song. There is a guy, there's a friend of mine on Twitter. He's actually a fan, but now he's become my friend. His name is Ketchi. Mm -hmm. He actually tweeted... God will change our story from Okada to Range Rover. Mm -hmm. I saw that tweet, mm -hmm. just that tweet, and it hit me. I was like, it got to me like, this has to be a song. And mm -hmm. usually that's how music comes to me. 
Okay. When I get that feeling, immediately I get that feeling, I stop everything I'm doing mm -hmm. and I begin to pay attention. Mm -hmm. So when I saw the tweet, I wrote it down and I started, you know, like playing around it. Mm -hmm. So I played around it. Uh, yeah. I even played around it from bandana to shatter. Mm -hmm. to, I played around it a lot. Mm -hmm. Then I finally arrived at, you know, God will change our story. I mean, was this an area and all. Then there was a day, I, when I, I played a song the first time, I slept. Mm -hmm. I was sleeping, mm -hmm. but I had the song in my ears. Mm. So it was playing whilst I was sleeping. Okay. And I had a dream. When I dreamt, I was somewhere performing the song with Famille. In wow. the dream. Yeah, in the dream. So when I woke up from the dream, mm -hmm. I was like, damn, that was me and Famille. Mm -hmm. So that, when I, that was when I sent him a message. Mm. I said, I want to put you on a song. And then he also responded, I was like, oh, was everywhere you did, I go come do them. Mm. So I went to the studio, he came over. Mm -hmm. And that was it. And which producer worked on that? Oh, DDT, of course. Okay. I mean, one of the one of the highly you know sought rated. after, yes, highly rated, <laughs> most sought mm -hmm. after producer mm -hmm. for high life music. I see. Now, um, I know around the world people watch Sammy Flex TV. Yeah. Where can they stream your songs? Even those who would want to buy, where can they get them? Oh yeah, when um, the song is on all the guitar platforms, okay. from Spotify to iTunes to Deezer to Boomplay, Africa, everywhere. Or when you go on YouTube, you mm -hmm. know, my, my channel official that I have called. Okay. You can go and subscribe and, you know, the, the videos are there. The song, this one's video is, has not been shot yet. Okay. But we are in the process. Mm -hmm. So the audio is there. So all the streaming sites, and when you go on Google, you type that I have called, mm -hmm. every link will pop up. Mm -hmm. And then you could check all the songs. I see. Now let's go into the business of um, how mm -hmm. we can also play and fail the O2 arenas like that I have yeah. witnessed. Can we do that with high life music? Of course, why not? We can. So we see beside them today, they were doing high life music in the UK back in the day. Mm -hmm. And they were filling spots. Mm -hmm. I mean, even the Nigerians. Mm -hmm. Today, so Whiskey was at the O2. Yeah. And I was in London when mm -hmm. he filled the arena. Okay. And we, the, one of the discussions we were having, me and Reggie Zippy were having was that, you see, uh, not long ago, Whiskey called, Whiskey called Payday as the president of, uh, what was his name, Starboy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when Whiskey was doing the show, did he put on any Ghanaian artist? No. He never did. All that he put on were Nigerians. Mm. You know why? Because they are championing the Nigeria agenda. Mm. Do we do the same? We don't. Because Pesamin Kumia cry in between us no, does not even allow us to come as a united front mm. to do something. So even the things. current crop of artists who are doing high life, you guys don't even have a united front fighting we, for a common cause. You see, we do. We do, but the point is, we have classes of artists in Ghana. Mm. You know, so you may find yourself in the middle. Mm. You may not be at the front line. You know, when you are in the middle, the only thing you do is you hear the chubu from front, then you respond, yay. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> you understand? Uh -huh. Because it is the front liners who make the decision. Mm -hmm. You know, so even when you want to whisper something to the one the one on the front line, mm -hmm. look at Inipeni, maybe Aujana, how do you whisper? Okay. You understand? So it is those at the front line uh -huh. who needs to champion the togetherness okay. for us to move as a unit. Uh -huh. You know, so for me, I think we have A list artists, we have B list artists, we have big artists. Mm -hmm. You know, the Wale is the the Sax, the mm. Boys, the Saminis, mm. they need to come as a united front because for every... But where, where do you belong? The, among the classes, where do you belong? Well, I think that I may, I could be found with at maybe B minus, mm -hmm. somewhere to C, mm -hmm. you know, because... Why, why, why do you think so? Because you have been around uh, over the years? Yeah, 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 because you see, there are, there are classes of hit songs. You know, mm -hmm. we have a hit song that could blow like the whole Ghana, it will be the talk of town. town. Mm -hmm. You know, every year we have hit songs. Every year the number of hit songs will come. Mm -hmm. But usually there is one that stands out of all the lot mm -hmm. as the biggest. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and from the Kunkunti band, the Hunkawum, yes, I hit you. There are a lot of hit songs. Okay. But you always find that one standing out. Standing out. Okay. So when you are able, God, God Grace found you. Mm -hmm. Good grace finds you, and mm -hmm. you're able to Together. get that 
hit song, uh-huh. then it puts you on the front line. Oh, you I understand? See. And then when you get to the front but line, y- y- mm-hmm. y- nah, I think it got somewhere. Yeah, yeah, y- 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 was dead. talking high life. It yes. got somewhere. That's what I'm saying. That y- 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 was part of the hit songs in 2018. Mm. No two ways. It was on every playlist. Mm. Immediately, you want to play new songs that were popular. To come up. It will come up. You mm. understand? Because top 10 songs, it, it was there. Mm. You understand? Yes. So, for me, I feel like if it gets to that front line where that is the most talked about song nationwide. Then you are considered a... Yes. You become part of the decision makers. Okay. At that point, when you speak... We all have big voices. Every mm-hmm. musician, you have a big voice because mm-hmm. your voice commands mm-hmm. a lot of people. Mm-hmm. But then when you have that type of a hit, mm-hmm. then when you speak, that voice is so big that, you know, it turns people around. I Immediately mean, you speak, everybody want to turn to see. see. Exactly. So that's how it goes. Now, before we even close this chapter, there is something I've been doing with my musician guests. They teach us how to sing their songs. So now that, that I have called, you have a new one called Our Story Out, maybe a verse or two uh, without oh. any instrumentation for us to also learn their lyrics as well will help us. So, my people, that I have called Our Story, and that is what he's about to do for us. So, <coughs> tomorrow by this time, many of my Bread to Nina Betrem, it rains soon tea. Yen ya chessua, ye bounce a lack or ye name, mamma. I call ye name, mamma. I call ye name, mamma. We never go give up. God go change one our story, oh, amen. What's his son every day? He go change one our story, oh, amen. What's his son every day? Your best son, Okada to Range Rover. Am I a Tanfunina? A Tanfunina? Am I where near woe? I'll be way dear bay. I'll be way dear bay. I'll be way dear. I'll be way dear. I'll be way dear bay. Wow. So this is the song. It is called Our Story, released by Dada. Dada, I've got rich record label. Has been releasing your songs. Under the Beast Empire. That the Beast Empire, yeah, and you are the CEO. Yeah, me and my friend. That the Beast Empire is owned by me and my friend, my friend Daniel Esiedu. Oh, okay. He's, he's actually the CEO. He's the CEO. Yeah, I'm, I'm just a partner. Oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, what does it mean? If someone has money, he should sleep or he can still come to negotiate deals with you? Oh, of course. Maybe he wants to, the person wants to sign you or something. No, no. If you want to sign me, you have to sign me and my partner. Oh, okay. Yeah, if sign you, the whole label. Yes, the yes. Beast Empire yes. label. So that it will be, for example, if Sammy Flex wants to sign me, mm-hmm. it will be Sammy Flex, or it will be that I have come with uh, Beast Empire mm-hmm. Entertainment mm-hmm. for Sammy Flex music. Oh, I see. You understand? Just like Xylophone did with. A beam nation and the rest of them. Yeah, that's time. All right, that is the deal. His name is Dada Hafko. I am Sami Flex Hafko. God bless you so much you, for being a part of this show. I'm bless sure you. from time to time you'll be having different conversation on this platform with Dada Hafko. Thanks to Currency Digital Rasta for doing the production. This has been the real talk on Sami Flex TV. Subscribe and get all the latest updates. We out.